Hi friends, I am Rijo. Uh, today we are just planning to cover the topic uh, IE mode configuration in Microsoft Edge uh, using Microsoft Intune portal. So let's we will uh, go for our learning objective. So what we are planning introduction of Microsoft Edge mode and enable Internet Explorer mode in the Microsoft Edge using Intune and a demo of configuration of IE mode in Microsoft Edge. So let's we will uh, go for uh, Microsoft Edge with the IE mode. So it supports a legacy web application, Microsoft Edge introducing feature called IE mode. You already know Microsoft uh, version OS, Windows 10, Windows 11 not support for the Internet Explorer. So Microsoft introducing for the web browser is called IE mode. So you need to activate it for IE mode in your browser. So we will discuss how to we can do that one. So now I will uh, show you some small example. Uh, in your organization, there are one website, let's see website, rejoskillinfo.com. It's only open in the IE mode uh, site. And another one is normal site, rejoskill mode, uh, rejoskill.com. So it will be open normal edge. So you can see this is your browser in, in your organization, Microsoft Edge. So user need to access uh, IE mode in rejoskill.info. You need to configure your policy. So why policy? After you configure the policy, if the user will be type rejoskill.info, it will be configured going to the IE mode rejoskill.info. So remaining uh, site will be rendering for the Edge, Microsoft Edge format. So now you understand uh, what is a IE mode in the internet Microsoft Edge browser. Now we will uh, go into to one demo, uh, how to we can implement IE mode in the Microsoft Edge. So let's we will go for a uh, our uh, Intune portal then I will show you how to we can do this one now we reach our Microsoft Intune admin standard so what is our aim we need to configure the IE mode in the Microsoft Edge through Microsoft Intune portal so first we will uh, go for whatever the step we need to create it so I just show you the slide so here you can see the step for enabling the Internet Explorer mode in the Microsoft Edge using Intune. So step one uh, configuration enterprise site mode list in the XML format so how to we can configure that site mode in the XML list? So we needed to go for this link and download the uh, enterprise site list mode creation application. So I just go for now. Once you copy that link, you will just come here. Enterprise mode site manager list manager scheme version 2. Download this application. Then the download will be start. Then after downloading, you just install this application. So currently I already installed this application. So I just directly go through the enterprise list site manager. So here uh, enterprise is uh, site manager already I pinned it there. So just open that one. So here you can see enterprise mode site list manager version 2 scheme. Then he, after you create the site list you need to save it to the XML format. So how to we can create just click add then you need to give the URL which site you want to open. I just plan to go for one of my site uh, rejoskill.info. I just copy that one. Uh, then open in IE mode, mm, allow redirect, then default mode I just open IE 7 enterprise mode. Then after that save. So now Rejo skill uh, site list is created. Then after that what you need to save it to XML. If you need additional site you can go for click and add. So after that you need to save in the XML format. So here I will go for creating XML format. Rejo skill info uh, site list. IE. IE mode then we will save this one so after you save this one you need to create the URL because the URL needed to implement into your policy time so I just uh, go for uh, upload this XML in my cPanel if you have any publicly access you can open in your server or where you want to usher or blob or where, where you want to open but if you need to publicly access as per Microsoft account for HTTPS not HTTPP let's go for uploading this file in the my cPanel so I just uh, go for my cPanel file manager then here I create one file IE. Then after that I just go for upload. Then select the file. Rejo skill. Public HTML. Then IE. So now you can see here. Uh, Rejo skill IE mode is there. So we need to go for. Rejo skill info. Slash IE mode. Then you can see here. Your X. So this is our URL. 
so after that we need to copy this ur paste in the our policy mode so just we complete our first step we need to go for our second step what is the step, second step configure the into uh, configuration policy uh, so what is the into in configuration policy we need to configure the ie mode in the edge so how to we can do this one this is the policy setting so we we need to implement this policy setting in the microsoft intune portal i just reach uh, in our uh, intune portal then go to device then we will select our windows then we go for configuration then here we need to create our policy then we choose our platform then select i just go for template then after that administrative template then create then here we needed to give the name ie mode integration edge browser then copy this one created by okay then after that click next then here you need to choose the windows microsoft edge then after that internet explorer mode after microsoft edge we need to to search this one uh, configure integration configure the internet explorer mode just to copy the same policy then click it so here you can see the configure internet explorer integration just click that policy so here we need to enable that policy so uh, policy type none zero ie mode internet explorer mode and internet explorer 11 use the prediction information configuration policy once you enable then you can choose for the internet explorer mode then click ok so after that we just click next then we need to assign this policy we need to give our group we just go for the app device group then select then after that we will click next then create so now we create our the policy ie mode integration edge browser successfully so we just refresh this one so now the policy is completed so we need to go for our next step we need to check what is the next step policy one we implemented we create the configure in the ie mode in the microsoft edge administrator emblem microsoft configure internet integration is enabled so what is the next step ie web sale list for the both ie and enterprise mode so we need to call our before create the url in in our enterprise so how to we can do that one uh, we just go for windows common internet explorer use the enterprise mode ie website list so now we go our uh, microsoft intune portal we implement this policy so now we need to create our next policy to implement the site list so just we will uh, go for new policy then we need to choose windows 10 later then we need to choose our template then we just go for administrate template create so here you need to give ie mode list website okay same ie mode list website then after that click next then here we need to choose our uh, windows component here windows component then after that we need to choose the internet explorer mode use the enterprise list mode ie website list so you click this one uh, use enterprise mode ie website list so we just enable this one then here you can see type the location url for your enterprise mode list so before we create the url we just copy that url so we just copy the same url from here to so we just paste the url here then after that click ok then click next then scope tag I skip assignment I just add the group app device group just select it then click next then create now the policy is created we just refresh so now you create two policy IE mode list website and IE mode integration edge browser so now I just go for uh, the device group and then I just opened that device. So we needed to check that IE mode, the site will be opened the IE mode or no. So first I will uh, just go for now the device. Now we reach our device. So just I open. And now this, uh, our device is open. We just go for uh, Internet Explorer. So here you can type edge. 
compact so here you can see internet explorer mode site list so after you implement the policy the list will be coming here currently we don't have any list so the policy is still not implemented so after the policy will be implemented the site will be converted as a rejo skill so just i will type here rejo skill dot info see the currently site will go not in the edge mode so we just waiting for the our policy will be completed so now we need to check the policy is already installed or no then we just go for the first policy ie mode list so now you can see here uh, it's accessed you can see uh, one policy is accessed and it's lydia at rejo skill and desktop fg pf so policy one is completed so we just go for a second policy this one also completed uh, you can see here also success so now i just go for my computer now so now we reach uh, lydia pc then we just open microsoft edge then we will just go for edge edge compact see now you can see here uh, our uh, enterprise site list is updated before is not updated see the www uh, https rejo skill info this is our xml form so now i just go for enter rejo skill info see now the uh, site will be redirect to edge mode you can see this is the ie mode or the small icon uh, compatibility mode ie enterprise mode the site will be Uh, redirect to IE mode. So now you understand how to you can implement the IE mode in the Microsoft Indoon portal to Microsoft Edge. So currently I wind up my topic. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you so much.